Scorpio, welcome back to the channel. It's me, OU, with another tarot card message for you. Like, share, subscribe, add value to the channel so that we continue to grow. We're using the Rider Waite tarot deck today to pull in some messages. I had two mangoes for breakfast. I think I may have me a sub sandwich. But yeah, let's get into your message today. Who am I doing? Scorpio? Scorpio hungry at this time? The only thing I think of is or just very highly spiritual and religious people sometimes have spirits around them that like to eat up matter. So sometimes these people get really, really hungry. That's why sometimes people do emotional eating. But when you have discipline and you have religion, you use all that stored energy in your body to do things like exercise and um, strategize and that sort of thing. Yeah. What you eat uh, becomes you. What is that old saying? You are what you eat. It becomes your DNA and then you pass that down through your children. So let's see. What do we have for Scorpio? Someone's taking a health course. We have uh, seven of wands. Yeah, physical and spiritual boundaries. This can be something simple that you teach children in elementary school to wash their hands multiple times a day with soap. Yeah, boundaries. Then some sort of a spiritual or physical boundaries as well. This could be teaching yoga or nap time or something like that. Uh, teaching, taking time out of your day to uh, have a few moments for yourself, a breather. Yeah, social distance, social distance, that sort of thing as well. Your auric feel. Okay, yeah, so someone's getting super scientific here. Who is this, Scorpio? Investigation, occultism. <laughs> See, in my mind is a steel trap, literally a librarian. My mind is an entire librarian, so I don't need tools and utensils and notepads and notebooks and to edit and re-edit and think back on what I say. Everything here is just natural. I prefer it that way so that I'm transparent and I don't have to lie and double back on anything. Everyone just has their own talent, man. As Scorpio knows, you don't reveal, uh, you know, the best way to confuse people is to make them think that they won. All right, a new spread. The moon card, yeah. Nurturing energy. This could be hidden information. This could be moon cycles as well for feminine. We're going into almost a half a moon. So, yeah, the more you know, the more you grow. The more you can maneuver around these things. That's crazy that nowadays these fem these feminines don't even know their own moon cycle. We have uh, five of pentacles. This is being displaced or kicked out of a home, going through financial difficulty here. Pull three cards. We got the king of pentacles. This could be meaning some sort of a financier, a financier. Possibly getting a new job as well. This could be coming out, out of a uh, state of destitution here. So yeah, past energy. Coming into yourself, gaming, pause. Gaining more inspiration here taking things more seriously possibly working on your health this is health matters here as well queen of wands yeah someone phys very physically gifted this could be a pole dancer this could be someone that has a frequent gym membership someone that takes a lot of adventures here with the knight of wands mm -hmm. queen of wands could have turned this into some sort of a business as well hiking trail walking i know i've seen uh trail walking videos of florida I've seen uh, people that do outside backpacking, that sort of thing. So possibly a new hobby. Yeah, they're holding it close. Well, not holding it close, but it's page of uh, Pinnacle's energy. To me, it looks like he's holding it close, but this could be some sort of a newfound infatuation, a hobby that someone stumbled across. Like a uh, middle school kid getting their first cell phone. Although I think elementary school students have their own cell phones and tablets. Yeah, some sort of a young content creator here. Yep, the sun. Living free. <laughs> very abundant, very creative. I fell asleep with a green spider next to my bed a few nights ago. I forgot what the meaning of it was. We have Ace of Cups. I believe it has something to do with abundance and good luck. But we have Ace of Cups right on top of the King of Pentacles. So we have a... <laughs> this would is what, this is what would be females say they want, right? At, no, at whatever age. A King of Pentacles, a financier, someone that provides security for them. Sort of like a father figure would remind you of, right? We have the Six of Wands, yeah. A whiner and diner here. Six of Wands on top of Knight of Swords. But yeah, you would want someone older because this is a King of Pentacles. So either they're older physically or they're just more experienced, right? Your health is your wealth. Or they could be very financially stable here. And they're offering you some sort of a love. 
And then, of course, the Six of Wands fell out right on top of Knight of Wands. So this is pursuing passions, wanting to put you on some sort of a pe uh, pedestal. Physical attraction here. Definitely sex here. Queen of Wands is very sexy. The word sex itself implies they want to have sex with you. Now, this could be some sort of a pay-to-play or, some, again, some sort of a content creator, only fans model, possibly a stripper. Yeah, Four of Swords, sexual insights. They're wanting to sleep with this individual here. Ace of Cups. <laughs> Sun card. <laughs> it's an orgasm. Yeah. Yep, Queen of Wands, energy, sex magic. I believe we have one more message here. Yep, very stable and abundant or single and ready to mingle here. They've taken on some sort of a harvest. Or this is the way that they pursue you. Very single and abundant, very confident in yourself. Probably very hard working to get some, to some sort of a confidence here. Page of Pentacles energy to the King of Pentacles energy. You're being seen as a light bright. Very sexually attractive and appealing. A lot of people want to sleep with you here. <laughs> what the heck? So possibly a celebrity or something like that. Again, an Instagram model. TikTok. We have here, we have the, uh, the young and the old coming towards you with their monies, their hands out. And then we have them thinking about orgasms or climaxing here, some sort of a creative moment or inspiration. This could possibly be a muse. Again, witchcraft. She knows how to throw on her makeup, get on the pole, sleep. This is what people think about when they come towards you. Some sort of a relaxation. We do know that sex is one of the most powerful sex magics. It releases a lot of several different hormones that are relaxing, right? Could have be drinking involved in here. So this is a strip club. Or this could be, you know what I'm getting right after I thought that? This could be someone uh, being that way inside their marriage here. Yeah. King of Pentacles is a father with Ace of Cups. That's some sort of a commitment. It could be children involved here. Yeah, some sort of a family. So yeah, a wife and a mother and wife. I'm sorry. A mother and father dynamic or a wife and husband. But yeah, that's what I have for you here today, Scorpio. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, add value to the channel. You have business, possibly some sort of a commitment coming towards you. I'm not sure if this is sexual advertisement and marketing, but hey, we're all walking billboards at the end of the day, moving away from this uh, matrix, right? You have to be able to build uh, and maintain and ground your own um, energy here on the earth plane, as above, so below, as within, so without, being the alchemist, king of pentacles, queen of wands energy. Catch you on the next one. Peace.